my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're on my channel, my name is Vanessa Semina and I would like to welcome you into the fam. So guys, today's March predictions are gonna be really quick, fun, and informative. So in this video, each sign of the zodiac receives its own March prediction. So all that you need to do is go down into the description box, click your zodiac sign, and you will be fast forwarded to your zodiac sign's March prediction. So I would recommend that you watch your sun sign as well as your rising sign, especially because these readings are quick and bite-sized. So if you want something that is tailored, definitely tune into multiple signs that you have within your birth chart. Furthermore, all of the decks that I'm using within today's readings will be linked down below in the description box as well. So let's get right into it. I will be starting off with my Aries babies prediction and to all of my other beautiful signs of the zodiac, I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. Hello all my beautiful Aries babies and welcome to your March prediction. So some of you will have your birthdays during the month of March, which is a very exciting time of course, but let's see what else awaits all of my Aries babies, shall we? We have the eight of crystals. So my Aries babies, this is really in tune with your fiery type of aura and temperament. The eight of crystals is all about action. It's all about movement, especially forward movement, especially moving into new directions or directions that you know that you should have gone down a long time. Like for example, finally getting over something you've been procrastinating, a project, maybe even something as simple as a phone call and getting right to it, getting it done, karate chopping it out of the way. Next we have the chariot. Okay, the chariot speaks to even more movement. Now, all of my Aries babies, these are literally the two most forceful cards when it comes to forward movement. I want you to know in the chariot that you you're not afraid anymore and you're not allowing anyone to intimidate you during the month of March. Now you may feel especially empowered because yes, you know, this could be your birth month, but maybe it is also just a time where you come to realize that you can no longer procrastinate. You can no longer wait for things to change. You need to get proactive. Next we have the high priestess. So I do see here that there will be some sort of form of influence when it comes to the more spiritual side of you. So you're going to have some coincidences or synchronicities that show up for you, all my Aries babies, that will make you feel like this is no coincidence. This is not something that just happened. This has a deeper meaning because yes, we can call certain things coincidences, but we can also read into them. Whether it be signs and symbols, such as feathers, such as circles, such as triangles, or for example, seeing reoccurring numbers and patterns of numbers show up in your life such as for example, 111, 333, whatever it is that you're constantly seeing, I can see here in the High Priestess that that is something that is inspiring you to take action and it's inspiring you to move forward and to no longer put off things that otherwise would have maybe scared you a little bit. Next, we have the Knight of Coins. So in the Knight of Coins, I do see you leveling up when it comes to your business as well as your financial status. The Knight of Coins is a go-getter. This is somebody who isn't afraid to take risks financially and see the rewards. And why I say see the rewards is because we have the Nine of Coins show up next. And I do want you to know here in the Nine of Coins that this is a great month for you to take any risks in business. So of course, smart risks, calculated risks, risks that make sense. Sense. If there is, for example, an 80% chance that something is going to hit it off really nicely in your business or you have some sort of idea that you think other people will really love to see, go for it. I can see that March is your month, financially speaking, all of my Aries babies, and that that type of like birth month energy is something that's pulsing all through you. Next, we have the hand. So in the hand, you are being called to ask for assistance if you feel like you need it. Don't be too proud to ask for help. Don't feel like you're a burden just because you're asking somebody to support you or to help you in something. It's important here in the hand that you don't let your ego or your pride get in the way of your success. Then we have the valley. So all of my Aries babies in the valley, I can see here 
here that there's a lot of deep personal strength and peace that's within you during the month of March and that's what's bringing you to success. So it's most likely just you hitting this point where you're not letting anybody influence your decisions, where you're very sure in yourself. So you going through a period of self-confidence as well as courage and it's going to be reflected within your finances as well as your success story. The fact that you weren't afraid to go with what felt right like we spoke about in the high priestess whether it be signs and symbols from the universe or just other hunches feelings you know that gut feeling that you get and not second guessing yourself I can see here in soul expansion that just overall you see the connections between everything and you're taking full accountability and full ownership for some of the things that you maybe messed up or could have done better but failed to do so in the past. And that's okay, you're accepting it, but you're moving forward, listening to yourself more intently and also understanding that everything is connected. Every choice that you've made in your past is what has gotten you to this very moment, all of my beautiful Aries babies. And <clears throat> instead of saying to yourself, oh, well, I didn't want this or that event to happen in my life. I don't feel like I brought any type of financial or personal hurt to myself because why would I want to do that? Well, the thing is like when we strip our ego aside and when we strip our pride aside, we come to realize that there are a lot of things that we could have avoided in our lives. There are a lot of things that did not need to go down the way that they did, but because we were too afraid or we didn't want to rub anybody the wrong way or make anyone feel uncomfortable, we ended up putting ourselves in a difficult situation. So all of my Aries babies, I see that you make sense of why certain things happened to you in the past and you're really taking this vow to move forward with full accountability, being courageous enough to face any mistakes that you've made and not make them any longer moving forward. This is like a new era for you. So all of my beautiful Aries babies, this is your March prediction. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Let me know down below in the comment section what hit home for you. Leave a little strawberry emoji down below because I just want to remind you to enjoy all of the sweet rewards that are awaiting you after this period of hard work in March. Know that I'm thinking of you, I'm rooting for you, and I'll see you in another one of my readings. Hello all my beautiful Taurus babies of the world and welcome to your March prediction. So let's get right into this highly personalized prediction for your zodiac sign, shall we? So we have the eight of coins first and foremost. All of my Taurus babies, I want you to know here that your slow and steady approach is really paying off. I can see in the eight of coins that there are financial rewards that are coming towards you in March as well as some money that you didn't expect. So think of finding money, for example, in a coat pocket pocket, in some area of your house that you didn't expect it, under a couch cushion, for example. So having unexpected positive financial surprises show up. I can see here in the Knight of Chalices that you're feeling kind of emotional. And as a Taurus, you are the type of person that is afraid of getting hurt. Or let's just say you're more afraid than other zodiac signs. You really need to trust someone to fully and wholly open up to them. And I can see here in the Knight of Chalices that in a way, everything that you've been through emotionally has hardened you and has made it really hard for new people to get through your walls. But I do see that March is a month that is exceptionally emotional and where you may let more people in than you usually would. I can see here in the page of coins that this is coming from a standpoint of just remembering everything that you've been through. So because you're able to enjoy all of this financial success that we see here in the eight of coins, it makes you very like nostalgic of when you just started and you want to thank everybody who supported you along the journey. You want to show them your appreciation. So that's most likely what's making you feel overly emotional in March. So tears wouldn't be a surprise, but these aren't tears of anguish. These are happy tears. Next, we have the angel. So in the angel, I see some spiritual guidance that's coming towards you and that you are protected from harm, all of my Taurus babies. So spiritual guidance in the form of feeling like you know exactly what you need to do and exactly how to move forward. So March is definitely not a month where you need guidance from another human being. You feel like everything you need to know is just coming to you intuitively and naturally. I can see here furthermore in the angel that 
Feeling protected from harm is something that you need in order to get back to your stable self because you are, as I said, in a bit of an emotional spot, more emotional than you're used to handling. Next we have the hills. So I can see here in the hills that there are obstacles that you're going to have overcome by the end of March. And looking back at these obstacles, not just from the beginning of March through to the end of March, but just of the past months and years, that deep sense of joy and pride that you'll have for yourself and your accomplishments is something that I would definitely recommend that you keep record of. So write it down in a journal, maybe record a little voice memo or a little video on your phone or your laptop. It's really just something that you keep for yourself. Trust me on this, all my Tauruses. You don't have to have any pressure to share it with anybody. Just record what you're feeling and what you're going through. And you're going to look back at it in a few months and think to yourself, thank God I took note of this moment because it means so much to see it now. I can see here in the page of crystals that showed up reversed though is that at the same time you're kind of a little bit worried about what's next to come. You're a little bit worried about what to do next financially speaking, what to do next in your career and you kind of feel a little bit of pressure because you want to perform and you know that in order to lead the life that you want to lead you have to create a lot of financial abundance, let's put it that way, okay? You need a lot of money to afford who you really are, all my Tauruses. So that is one thing that I see in the Page of Crystals that can be stressful as the Nine of Swords shows, you know, in form of nightmares, in form of fear, in form of anxiety, and just overall feeling like there's just so much pressure on you mentally. So working out is a great way that you can balance that, all my Taurus babies. So if you are someone, if you are a Taurus baby that continues to skip your workouts. March is not the month for that, okay? You need all the balance that you can get to balance out the anxiety, your emotionality, just everything that you're going through and handling all this financial success, okay? I see that you have to really strengthen yourself. I do see here in the High Priestess Upright that rooting yourself into a spiritual practice is what is going to help you make that change or take that step towards feeling balanced and centered again. So rooting yourself into a spiritual practice such as meditation, such as yoga, such as just breath work, even if it's 10 minutes a day, I do want you to know here that this is something that you're being called to take into your routine because in order to grow and gain more abundance, more status, more success, whatever it is that you are after at this point in your life, all my Taurus babies, you have to kind of live up to it. So just as many very successful people who you look up to have a routine, they have a set plan of what they do to either wake up and work out or have a very healthy breakfast, go for a walk, whatever it is that they do to set up their day to be successful, you are being shown the harsh reality that now that you've come to this next high in your life, you have to adjust to that, okay? You have to show that you belong here, that you're not just a visitor, and you have to incorporate that into every fiber of your being. Next, we have the throne. So in the throne, I can see that this position of authority and success is not something that you're going to allow yourself to pass up. So it's like a bittersweet month for you, all of my Taurus babies, because Yes, you've achieved a lot of success and at the same time, it's a lot of pressure moving forward, but you're up for the task, okay? Believe in yourself. I do see here in the tent that this is just a temporary difficulty, just as a tent is just like a temporary home, a temporary situation. So you can really prove to yourself and the entire world, the universe, that this isn't too much for you to handle, that you haven't been given more success than you can take on and then, then you can step that this is where you belong. You belong in a place of authority. You belong in a place of status, of success, of being a boss, being a leader. So I do want you to know here in the tent that you're going to get back into balance sooner rather than later. March is going to be a little bit confronting, but this is not a negative thing. 
every time somebody has a big growth spurt, it comes with growing pains, it comes with anxiety, it comes with a lot of epiphanies and realizations, and this is something that you should be grateful for, all my Taurus babies, because many people wish that they were in a situation of growth and would take those growing pains any day. So remind yourself of that whenever you feel like it's too much, that you are meant to be in this position. It's not too much for you to handle. So all of my beautiful Taurus babies, this is the reading that I received for you. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Leave a little tent emoji down below in the comment section as the tent did show up within your reading. Know that I'm thinking of you and rooting for you, and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello, all my Geminis of the world, and welcome to your reading. So let's figure out what's going on during the month of March for you, shall we? So first we have the Knight of Cups. So all of my Gemini babies in the Knight of Cups, I can see here that you're bringing over some sort of message. You are the messenger here, okay? So you're either giving somebody an important piece of information, or you're the one on the receiving end of this important piece of information. Let's see what it is. I see in the four of diamonds that it's all about financial stability so telling somebody that they're receiving a promotion or being on the receiving end of the promotion I see here in the eight of crystals that it's all about taking action okay so I can see here that you're meant to take this promotion you're meant to take this situation where you're being given the task of rising above your current financial situation so financial growth financial stability that is one thing that I see that is increasing for you during the month of March. Then we have the Three of Crystals reversed. So in the Three of Crystals reversed, I definitely see you kind of walking away from what you currently know. Okay, your card showed up reversed. There we go. So in the Three of Crystals reversed, I can see here that you have to decide to let go of what you knew beforehand and to move forward on a fresh slate, okay, on a fresh note, not taking anything that you believed in before or thought was right before with you on your journey moving forward. So this is definitely something that isn't easy. The Knight of Cups also shows me a little bit of an emotional side that's being brought to the light that is you, but it's important for you to know that anybody would struggle a little bit with leaving their past behind completely. I can see here in the dog that a best friend, somebody really close to you, can help you get over any type of difficult feelings and can allow you to accept that this is your new reality. More financial success and security is something that you're meant to have in your life. So don't worry about how others may see you or what some family members may think of you when you're moving up in the world, but instead allow yourself to be celebrated by those who care and by those who really want to see you succeed. Because unfortunately, family members don't always want what's best for you. Sometimes they want what they think is good. Sometimes they want what doesn't threaten them, especially if you have family members that are, for example, very narcissistic. So that is where in the dog, the close up of the dog, you're being called to spend time with people who uplift you and allow you to shine. That is one thing that I can see here in the peacock, okay? You are meant to shine. And it's really important for you to make sure that you're protecting your beautiful feathers and your beautiful success from anyone who just has negativity to bring to the picture. Let's just be real and honest here. Next we have the cracked cup. So I can see here in the cracked cup that there is someone who is struggling with a lot of dissatisfaction in their life, all my Gemini babies. I can see here in the unicorn that this is someone who is struggling with the fact that you have made so many beneficial changes within your life and this person is trying to stop you from moving up. So look out for that, all my Gemini babies. Make sure that you're very aware of this. Make sure that you make a little mental note, okay, leave a little unicorn emoji down below in the comment section as we did have the unicorn show up for you. And the unicorn represents that you're using your intuition and you're not going to allow anyone to tell you otherwise. If you feel like something is right or if you feel like somebody is negative, you are not going to let them gaslight you or trick you into feeling bad about yourself or your success. No, you're using your intuition and if that person needs to be cut out, then they gots to go. I can see here in Diana that you're focusing your intention. So while there is a little bit of a feeling almost of hurt or 
a feeling almost of like fear of letting go of what you used to know, I can see here in Diana that you're more focused on what you really want moving forward. Your desires are stronger than your fears. That is a mindset that I think a lot of people envy you for. So it's important for you to note that yes, feeling torn is something that you may find show up a lot for you during the month of March. But at the same time, when you set your sights really high, when you want to accomplish great things, of course, there will be certain moments of doubt. I can see here, last but not least in Horus, that we have this cosmic gateway that is opening up for you, all my Gemini babies. I can see here that your thoughts are magnetic and they are powerful and that there are miraculous changes that are occurring within your life during the month of March. So it's all about accepting those and it's all about not allowing any type of energies that are negative to come in between you and joy, in between you and your highest good. So look out for any naysayers, look out for people who really prove to be great friends, who always support you and congratulate you on your big and your small successes and look out for those who all of a sudden become really crusty, dusty and salty when you're doing well and you'll know exactly who to bring with you on your journey and who to leave in the past as an artifact, as a fossil, as somebody who can, you know, just just stay there, stay put. Because your vibe is all about growth as well as evolution. And that is something that I want you to push forward with. So all of my beautiful Gemini babies, this is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that you found this reading helpful and insightful. Leave a little comment down below letting me know and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello all my beautiful little Cancerians of the world and welcome to your March prediction. So let's see what in, what's in stock for us, shall we? So I'll get straight into it. All you need to do is lean back, relax and enjoy. So first we have the Knave of Coins. So one thing that I can see here in the Knave of Coins is somebody that's coming towards you with some sort of business proposition, somebody who has earth sign energy. They seem stable, they seem knowledgeable and this is someone who is giving you a great idea for a business venture. Next we have the Queen of Chalices. So I do see here in the Queen of Chalices that you are definitely the more mature one between the two of you. I can see that you are the one who has great foresight and great emotional intelligence. Then I can see here in the Two of Chalices that you find this person very attractive. So all of my Cancer babies, I want you to know here that they have initially, maybe they connected with you because you work together or because they found that your talent would work really well in their business. So this started off as a platonic thing, but I do see here in the Two of Chalices that this connection coming to you in March has great potential to develop into a romantic relationship and into a relationship that is, you know, getting a little physical if you want it to. I can see here in the Fool that this is all about a completely new journey, a completely new beginning with another human being that you completely just didn't expect to show up in your life all my beautiful Cancerians. So in the Fool, this is about adventure. This is about being spontaneous. And of course, if you're in a position to explore your sensual side, to explore your romantic side, this is an amazing month for you. March is really the month where there's a great candidate that's coming towards you in love. I can see here at the desk that it's also about paying attention to your work because while you're really, um, how should I say, distracted with love, you you might forget about your work or you may be neglecting your work or maybe you're in a relationship and receiving this reading so far you're like great I'm going to have to work with somebody really attractive I'm in a relationship like I don't really want to do that so I can see here in desk that it's important for you to just you know keep your head down focus on your work and make sure that love is a great addition but that it doesn't take away from all of the things that you worked so hard to accomplish when it comes to your professional life I can see here in the empty chair that that while somebody is coming into your life, somebody is also leaving your life. That is what the empty chair stands for. And I don't want you to be too afraid leaving your life. That could be something temporary. That could be moving to a new city. That could be, for example, going away 
for some sort of exchange, you're going away for some sort of job opportunity or not being able to come back in time, especially with the current restrictions that we have around the globe. Don't be surprised if somebody travels somewhere and isn't able to make it back in an appropriate frame of time. I can see here in the broom that you're cleaning your home, all my Cancerians. I can see that March is about cleanliness. It's about not just a revamped house but also a revamped attitude and feeling like you have more energy to do other things because your space is really beautifully designed and created. I can see here in the broken wishbone that there is some sort of wish that you feel is not going to be granted in March so you're going to have to try again. You're going to have to give it a little bit more of a push and that's most likely also what's giving you this, um, how should I say, this hunch to clean, to reorganize, to revamp your life. So it could be that it's maybe a test that you're going to fail, or it could be that you wanted a promotion or to start a business and you feel like it just hasn't been going the way that you wanted to. That's one thing that I see in the broken wishbone. But instead of allowing yourself to be the victim and to be down, I see that you're immediately getting to a point where you're like, okay, how can I turn this around? And how can I make sure that I get up and try again rather than allowing a temporary defeat to feel like it's forever. I can see here in the Queen of Swords reversed that you're doing something that is a little bit almost counterintuitive for Cancerians because a lot of us can wallow or ruminate for a long time when we go through something difficult or when we feel let down. Oh, okay, but I do see here in the chariot that you're all about moving forward. Any type of defeat to you is only temporary. You know that you can give it another try and get the success that you desire and that you crave. That is one thing that I see in the chariot showing up lastly for you. It just popped right out of the deck. So I do want you to know all of my beautiful Cancerians that during the month of March, any obstacles that are coming towards you, they're just not really gonna mean anything. You're in a different headspace. You're not going to allow defeat to even be a part of your vocabulary. So March is a very strong month for you to break through boundaries and obstacles. And you're doing so, you know where you're going and you're gonna keep pushing till you get there. So all of my beautiful Cancer babies, I truly hope that you enjoyed this reading and that you found it insightful. Leave a little horse emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you made it to the end of your reading. Know that I'm thinking about you and I'm rooting for you and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello all my gorgeous Leo babies and welcome to your March prediction. So let's get straight into it, shall we? To figure out what's coming towards you during the month of March. So first up we have the Four of Swords. So all of my beautiful Leo babies, I can definitely see here that you're taking a little bit of a time out. You're taking a time away from any type of drama. You're not here for it. You don't have the time nor the energy to dedicate towards other people's problems. You're all about yourself. I can see here in the knave of coins that you're really focused on your professional success. You're really focused on your coin, okay? You're focused on getting that bag and you're coming to this realization that if you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, then you are not in the right friend group or circle of people to get to that success that you desire. So you want to distance yourself a little bit from certain people and certain influences to make sure that that's not sabotaging or having any sort of effect on your financial skills and money making abilities. I can see here in the three of wands that you're all about creating an amazing future for yourself. And some people may just say, oh, you know, typical Leo all about themselves. Well, let them say that because at the end of the day, a lot of you beautiful Leo babies make it so far in life because you have this ability to focus on yourself when it really matters and to not let other people intervene with your dreams. So this is not something selfish or bad. This is self-preservation and I see that this is something that you need during March and you're making use of. Next we have the Six of Swords reversed. So all of my beautiful Leos, I do see here in the Six of Swords reversed that this may rub some people the wrong way. I want you to know that rather than people understanding that you need a little bit of space, they may take this really personally and they may ask themselves why you're distancing yourself. I do see here in the Four of Swords upright again, okay, the Four of Swords already showed up with, within your reading that you are unbothered. <laughs> you're not allowing that to cause any type of friction. You will tell people straight up, hey, look, I just don't wanna spend time with you because I'm focused on myself and you'll see nothing wrong with that. So 
I don't see anything wrong with that, all of my Leos, so don't get me wrong, okay? But some people may be very sensitive around you during the month of March when you distance yourself, when you focus on yourself. So just make it very clear and try to say it in a nice way for all the sensitive people out there, just so that you don't cause any type of emotional friction or drama around you that you might have to deal with at a later point. I can see here in the tulip that you're very much passionate about the things that you want to accomplish and you're planning ahead you're finding different ways to move forward finding different ways to grow as a person and this is really something beautiful to see I can see here in the whale that you may be a little bit worried about moving forward you may be a little bit worried about whether you're really meant to have all of the success that you desire now let's see what the next cards say about that we have the fly as well as the wheel so i can see here that in the fly as well let's let's start off with the fly okay in the fly i can see here that you're kind of like worried because you're feeling a little down you're feeling a little depressed and you're like <gasps> I really hope that I'm not going through something that is going to last for too long. I really hope that I'm not going through a period of ill health because a fly is often a sign of you going through something mentally or physically that is draining, that makes you feel like you don't have a lot of strength which is most likely also again why you're focusing on yourself because you don't have any energy to spare on drama i can see here in the wheel that it's important for you to make sure that you're being very decisive about that and that you don't allow anyone to get in your head about what decisions that you should be making especially when you're feeling tired especially when you're feeling like you just need to recoup a little bit okay march is not about being busy for you it's really about regaining your strength. I can see here in Lord Ganesh that when you take that time out and you fully just claim that time, that is when infinite abundance is going to start to show up. So all of my beautiful Leo babies, there are lows here for you in March, but there are also highs. So March is almost like a very balanced month in an unbalanced way. You know how you're just like going up and down and into lots of different directions, but if you you even it out if you kind of take the average it's a good month so that is one thing that I can see here in Lord Ganesh that there is an increase in support that's coming towards you especially after a difficult time where you may be doubtful of yourself I can see here in the green Tara that you are protected from a standpoint of the universe I can see here that cords are being cut and this is something that you're feeling cords being cut emotionally, any type of karmic ties that you may still have. I can see that you're moving beyond limitations that people have placed on you or you may be pl placed on yourself. And that period of time where you just need to trust that you made the right choice to distance yourself and focus on yourself, that may be difficult, especially if you're not feeling very well during that time, as I can see here in the fly, but the rewards of you just following your intuition and following what feels good for you, all my Leo babies, are going Going to be endless and immense so trust in yourself know that March I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not that kind of tarot reader is going to have lows but it's also going to have highs so don't feel like anything is going to last forever everything for you during the month of March is temporary so remind yourself of that especially when you're going through tough times so all of my beautiful Leos of the world we are at the end of your March prediction and I really hope that you enjoyed it leave a little elephant emoji down below in the comments comment section and feel free to let me know what really resonated with you. Thank you so much for tuning into this divine space with me today and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello all my beautiful Virgos of the world and welcome to your March prediction. So I'm gonna get straight into it while all you need to do is lean back, relax, and enjoy. So first and foremost, we have the Four of Cups. So all of my beautiful Virgo babies, I can see here in the Four of Cups that March is definitely going to be a month where you're a little bit reflective, a little bit alone, maybe even feeling lonely in a sense. As I can see here in the Six of Crystals reversed that sometimes life 
just feels like a lot to take on. Sometimes you don't even feel like getting up. Sometimes you don't even feel like doing anything. And that's something that I don't want you to feel ashamed about and I don't want you to feel bad about, you know, like guilty about. A lot of us have those days, but I do see here that during March, it can be easy for you to make yourself the victim and make yourself feel like you're the only one who's going through this and like you're wrong for feeling that, which you're absolutely not all of my Virgo babies. I can see here in the Empress reverse that it's important for you to turn this reversed Empress around because the reverse Empress is kind of stifling your beauty. It's stifling your glow. It's stifling all of the beautiful divine energy, divine feminine energy that you have within you. And this is divine feminine energy that goes for everybody, whether you're male, female, whoever you identify as, we both have divine feminine and masculine energy within us. And I do see here that during the month of March, you could embrace that more. And it's important for you to not be hard on yourself, all my Virgos, because you usually always are. Next, we have the Nine of Swords. So in the Nine of Swords, I can see that there is this intense fear of failure here. There is this intense fear of not being good enough, of not performing, of not making something or developing something that is up to par. I can see here in the Ace of Coins that this comes from a place of starting a new business or being in a fresh position, feeling like you're starting something new in your professional life and you're really afraid that it's going to fail. You're really afraid about, oh, what if it fails? What if it doesn't work out? So that is where I see here in the Nine of Swords that the stress is really mentally and hasn't transpired yet. You haven't failed yet. You're just stressing yourself out for nothing basically all of my Virgo babies so keep that in mind if it hasn't transpired yet why stress about a hypothetical situation that doesn't need to show up because the more you stress about it the more likely it's going to happen because where your attention flows is where all of the energy goes I can see here in the page of chalices that just removing yourself from stress factors okay allowing yourself to be immersed in nature to do some meditations that is something that can help you get back on your feet that is something that can help you calm yourself. So I see that March is really a little bit of a high strung month for you emotionally or how should I say mentally and there's just a lot going on and there's so much that you're keeping in. There's so much that you would benefit from telling somebody else. So don't deny yourself of talking to a good friend, of finding a therapist. It could even be online if you feel weird about, you know, just being like in a waiting room or people seeing you or anybody knowing. You can do it almost like anonymously over the internet. There are lots of great sources for that. I can see here in the carrot that it is all about opportunities. Okay, so there are a lot of opportunities that are present for you, but sometimes you will also take an opportunity or think that it is an opportunity and then it will turn out to not really be anything. And that's one thing that I want you to be okay with. As a Virgo, you are naturally a bit more of a perfectionist of the Zodiac and well, a bit more, you are the perfectionist of the Zodiac. And I just want you to know here that that is okay. We all fail a lot. Not many people showcase when they do fail fail. Not many people like to admit to it. You don't need to admit to it either. All of my Virgos. Okay. You don't need to broadcast. Hey, I failed. Like you can keep it to yourself, but don't be so afraid of failure that you never attempt something new because you're worried. What if I fail? Well, okay. What if you fail? What? Like if you don't tell anybody, no one's going to know. Only you're going to know and it's only going to affect you negatively if you allow it to. Next, we have the casket. So I can see here in the casket that there is an end of a situation that's coming and it may also be that somebody is leaving out of your life. So think, for example, an animal or just someone who you already knew was kind of like on their last leg. I can see here in the casket that for all of my beautiful Virgos, this is an end of a cycle, an end of a situation. And I hope that the fact that the casket showed up in your reading is not something that you're really afraid of because often when death shows up in readings, it's all about just letting go of an old cycle and an old mindset. And it's not a literal death because the amount of times that a death card can show up in a reading, I mean, we wouldn't have anybody left on 
on this planet if it meant a literal death. So don't freak out about that. Next we have Commander Ashtar. So in Commander Ashtar, I can see here that you're being called to take action, to lead by example, and to walk your talk. Don't be afraid to do the things that you've always wanted to do just because of fear of failure or your wish to be perfect, your wish to do things in an immense and great way. I can see here in the green Tara that you are protected to a degree that you don't even understand. So all of my Virgo babies, this supreme protection that is here for you during the month of March is really one that is going to let you fall easily. Just think like, for example, when you're trying a, a yoga pose that is really tricky, or for me, for example, going upside down, trying to do handstands. These are all things where you're really afraid of falling, but I want you to know that in March when you fall, whether it be physically falling or falling when it comes to some sort of venture, feeling like you failed, you're going to be let down easily. You're going to fall and you're going to think, hey, that didn't hurt that much or that wasn't that bad. Nobody saw. You're going to look around and be like, okay, nobody saw. I'm fine. I'll get back up and I'll move forward. So March is really a month that you decide over. All of my beautiful Virgo babies, don't allow any stress to get into your head too much or to make you feel like you can't accomplish things. Don't allow that to get in the way of your beauty. And most importantly, don't feel like just because you fail, like you're not worthy or like you're the only one who goes through failure, okay? So many people go through it, they don't talk about it. You don't need to talk about it if you're not comfortable talking about it either. You can keep it to yourself, but don't allow that to bring you down or demotivate you or to scare you into complacency because Mark is definitely a month where some kind of like carrot tops will have a beautiful carrot when you pull it out of the ground and some tops of the carrot is just gonna be like a little rotten thing and that's okay that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still harvest the entire field and see how many beautiful carrots were actually in there so all of my beautiful Virgo babies this is the reading that I received for you leave a little carrot emoji down below in the comment section if you promise me that you got the carrot analogy and that you're going to to pluck your entire field of opportunities, aka carrots. So all of my beautiful Virgos, I really hope that you're staying safe. Know that I'm thinking of you and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello, all my beautiful Libra babies, and welcome to your reading. So let's get straight into it, shall we? To figure out what is coming towards all my beautiful Libra babies during the month of March. So first and foremost, we have the Nine of Swords. So all my Libra babies, I can see that your indecisiveness is in a new high, okay? It's at a new level, and it's going to make it very hard for you to make decisions. I do see here in the Strength card reverse that this is something that is going to make you feel a little bit afraid of moving forward. This is something that is going to make you feel a little bit doubtful. However, I do see here in the Two of Swords that you can't wait with some decisions. You just need to make them, all of my Libra babies. And I know you want balance. I know you want everything to go well, but it's important for you to know that just staying complacent or stagnant and being too afraid to make a choice, that is not an option for you. And it's just going to keep you in the same spot rather than allowing you to move forward. So do know hearing the Strength card reversed that Strength is something that you have for you in March. This is something that is just sitting almost like in the back of your mind. So tap into it, make use of it, because I do want you to know that the Nine of Swords is just about mental anguish. This is not any type of difficulty or obstacle that has already showed up in real life, okay? This is just all you making up obstacles. So try to get out of your head. I know it is really difficult. I can see here in the Nine of Swords showing up for you again, all of my Libra babies, that this is just something that you're battling with, confronting yourself, confronting your own traumas, confronting your own difficulties, your own feelings of self-doubt, your own fears. This is something that you're going to have to face head on during the month of March. But I do see here in the eight of coins that when it comes to your career, that is an area of your life that's going really well. So your career is distracting you from everything that you're going through mentally, from self-doubt, from feelings of shame, from feelings of not knowing how to move forward or not knowing how to trust yourself more. I want you to know that this is probably a great area of your life to spend more time in during the month of March because it is helping you build that confidence. I can see here in the broken bridge that it's important for you to not feel like 
one failure applies to your life because all of my beautiful Libras of the world, I can see that a failure that you've been through either in a relationship or in your professional life, maybe you failed an important exam, something like that, I see that that is something that hit you and has stayed with you for a long time and that you're battling with in March because its ugly head is kind of like resurfacing. So I do want you to know here in the broken bridge that we have all failed and it is completely okay for you to have had an unsuccessful outcome in a certain area of your life and that does not define you moving forward. Just because one thing didn't go as expected doesn't mean that the next thing will happen have to be repeated in such a way. I can see here in the fair woman that there is some sort of dealing in a relationship with a woman with like blonde, gray, or white hair. There is someone who is going to influence your life with this type of overly feminine energy with like this fair hair type of appearance who is going to influence your life in a good way. That is one thing that I can see here in the egg, okay? They're going to assure you that success is on its way. They're going to help you when it comes to creating plans, when it comes to knowing where to put work into and where to maybe take a step back. So I do see here in the fair woman that someone is going to inspire you in that sense in March and give you that confidence boost that you needed. I do see in here in the harp that for you next up is great happiness. So it seems as though March is going to start off a little bit rocky, a little bit difficult because you're very in your head, but I afterwards see in the harp amazing happiness as well as feeling really inspired. So you may ask yourself, who is this fair woman? Know that this fair woman, this is like a temporary thing. This could be somebody wearing, for example, a wig or having dyed hair that is dyed lighter, gray, white, some sort of color like that. So I don't want you to feel as though the fair woman could only be one type of person, which is just, you know, like a basic white person. This could be anybody under the sun in this day and age who is just playing playing around with their appearance and happens to have like a lighter colored hair during the month of March who is going to influence you and impact your life really positively. I can see here in Joal Cool that you're remembering ultimately who you are, that you're on a path and that it takes one step at a time to go towards happiness. So all of my beautiful Libra babies, I know the reading started off feeling a little rocky, right? It felt off a little bit like <gasps> March might be really difficult and I'm honest with you, I'm not the type of reader who's just going to tell you what you want to hear. March is definitely not going to be an easy month on you mentally, but we need to go through things to level up. And I do see here in Joel Cool that ultimately your emotional intelligence is your greatest asset and is something that is really going to help you push through any difficult mental situation and create space between you and the problem, space between you and the things that you're worried about. So I do see here in Joel Cool that at the end of the day, you've got it all under control. So don't let self-doubt get to your head too much, all of my beautiful Libras and do know here that being indecisive, it's okay for a moment, but it is not a space in which you are going to reside in during the month of March. Luckily, thank God, you're going to come to a point where you know that a decision needs to be made. You will find that inspiration that just gives you that extra bit of confidence that you needed to move forward and find that happy place, find that place where you feel content with yourself and your life. So all of my beautiful Libra babies. This is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Leave a little fairy emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that this is a group that you chose and I'll see you in another one of my readings. Hello all my beautiful Scorpio babies of the world and welcome to your March prediction. So let's get right into it, shall we? Let's figure out what's coming towards you during the month of March. So first and foremost, we have the Four of Swords. So all of my Scorpio babies, I can see here in the Four of Swords that you're taking a mental time out. You're taking a mental break. Let's see why you're doing this. I can see here in the Three of Chalices that you're doing this because you want to spend more time with the people who truly matter. So 
everybody else, you're tuning out, you're zoning out from those relationships. You're only spending time with people who nourish your soul and make you feel good emotionally. I can see here in the Nine of Swords that anybody else just causes a lot of tension and anxiety and you're not about that life, all my Scorpio babies. You're all about positivity. You're all about being around people who inspire you and make you feel like you have more energy, like you have more motivation, not people who take that away. Next up, we have the Empress. So all of my beautiful Scorpio babies, I do see here in the Empress that you're going through a time of feeling really good about yourself, okay, of feeling like a sensual being, like an attractive being. And I do also see here in the Empress that this is something that shows the fact that you are more confident about your appearance during the month of March for whatever reason is something that a lot of people see and other people kind of flock towards, okay? Other people are more interested in you because of the way you're carrying yourself during the month of March, which is really confidently and in a proud way. I see here in the King of Cups that petty things such as, for example, weight, size, any exterior appearance type of things are just not in your interest any longer. I can see here in the King of Cups in correspondence to the Empress that you feel like that is very immature, which you know it is, and you're not wanting to surround yourself with people who judge others by their appearance, which is why you're stepping away from that type of crowd. But I do also see here in the Nine of Swords that you're a little bit afraid about being judged, but that's okay. You know, whenever we step into new spaces or we grow, someone will always have something to say about it. I do want you to know here in the King of Cups that all of my Scorpio babies, this is a really mature thing for you to do, and it shows that you have a lot of inner strength as well as leadership qualities. Next, we have the Eight of Swords. Now, in the Eight of Swords, I do see that in a sense you feel as though you want to move forward but there is some sort of constriction there is something that is holding you back and I want to find out exactly what that is during the month of March so we have the yoke so one thing that I can see here is again this feeling of being tied down of feeling a bit frustrated we see that here in the eight of swords literally tied down and I can see here in the older man that there's some sort of dealing or relationship with an older man that is making you feel that way or maybe the type of place that you're wanting to make a name in or put your mark on is currently just ruled by older men or by um, just men in general and you feel like you're the only woman or the only person who doesn't fit into this stereotype that is wanting to make a name for themselves in this particular space or in this particular profession that you want to get a foothold in. I can see here in the dog that you're receiving a lot of protection from a powerful friend. So if you're afraid of any type of, you know, person who has this very masculine energy, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a man, it can also be a woman that has very overpowering, overbearing energy that is kind of like making you a little bit self-conscious or afraid. I see here that a good friend is going to protect you from feeling too self-conscious and down and out about it. I can see here in the vine that it's important for you to just seek out information and focus on information that will help you all of my beautiful Scorpio babies so read books and autobiographies listen to autobiographies and interviews by people who inspire you okay consume content by people who make you feel good about yourself and show you that even though you're maybe a minority or you're a woman or you're a man in kind of like a woman's field or business so to say that that doesn't mean that you can't succeed and that doesn't mean that you can't stick out in a really amazing way. I can see here in Paul the Venetian that you are being called to share your gifts and this is something that you are sometimes like afraid of professionally speaking whether you belong and whether this is really the right path for you but I can see here in Paul the Venetian that there are many waves of inspiration that are coming towards all of my beautiful Scorpio babies so it is important for you to take those waves okay to allow yourself to receive the information the love that is coming in the form of like almost like these downloads to you where you feel like 
There are many days during the month of March where you're like, oh my God, that's an awesome idea. Or, hey, why did I never think of it in this light? Because this is a really helpful way to see the situation. I do see here in Hilarion that there is divine healing going on for you, all of my beautiful Scorpio babies, which is maybe also why you're healing some trauma here with the person who is represented in this older man. So this could be some sort of figure of authority. Think, for example, trauma that you've had with a teacher or a parent or a boss. And this is the type of thing that can stay with you for a long time. But I can see here that in the dog as well as Hilarion, that there's a lot of healing going on with friends. The three of chalices shows this as well. So people who know you, reassuring you that you did nothing wrong and that you were in fact like the victim in the situation and you don't have to feel any type of guilt and you don't have to feel embarrassed about what you've been through. And that is one thing that I can see here in Hilarion. You're honoring your sensitivity and you're understanding that there were people in your life who were supposed to be the authority figure or the adult and they failed miserably. And this is in no way a reflection on you. This is a reflection on them and it's not something that you should feel uncomfortable about or guilty about. Okay, this is in no place a burden that you should be carrying. So there is such deep healing going on for you, all of my beautiful Scorpios. So this is really an enriching month for you. This is a month of transformation and also a month of a lot of support. That's one thing that I see in the three of chalices especially. So don't be afraid to just stay away from social media, to stay away from any type of negativity because you have a lot going on and you have a lot of healing that you're doing around a specific situation with a person that you can then finally let go of 100% and live your life without allowing that to affect you anymore. So all of my beautiful Scorpios, this is the reading that I received for you. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Leave a little balloon emoji down below in the comment section because you did have the three of chalices show up, which is also known as the party card. So I truly hope that you enjoyed this reading and know that I'll see you in the next one. And until then, sending you so, so much love. Hello, all my beautiful Sagittariuses of the world and welcome to your reading. So let's get straight into it to figure out what's coming towards you during the month of March, shall we? First and foremost, we have the Queen of Diamonds. So all of my Sagittarius babies, I do want you to know here in the Queen of Diamonds that when it comes to financial abundance, you have it figured out. Things are happening the way that they should. Your financial means are increasing and just overall, you are in control. I can see here in the three of swords that this is putting quite a bit of pressure on you and this is definitely something that isn't easy because a lot of people are looking up to you and a lot of people are counting on you. I can see here in the King of Cups that it takes a very emotionally mature person. It takes somebody who has a lot of strength to be able to keep their head high the way that you do all of my Sagittarius babies. But don't forget that you're also human and it's okay for you to have some downtime and even days where you just don't want to talk to anyone. I can see here in the 10 of chalices that emotional fulfillment is something that ultimately is going to rule your march so of course there will be times of difficulty like we spoke about in the three of swords maybe even times where you just feel down and like you don't want to get out of bed that day but i do see in the king of cups as well as the 10 of chalices that overall your relationships are really going to help you and they're flourishing so any romantic relationship that's in your life is going to take it to the next level okay is going to get to a place of more trust and love and any relationship that is well established is going to be able to provide you with a lot of support that you need. I can see here in the ace of coins that you're starting some sort of new business venture. So this could be launching a new product, stepping into a new place in the company that you work in or starting a completely new business altogether. So this doesn't have to be something big and groundbreaking, you know, even just for example, buying a domain for a blog that you want to start or some sort of online shop. It could be an Etsy shop, just opening an account. These are all steps towards more financial freedom, abundance, as well as multiple streams of revenue. So I can see you taking steps in that direction. 
I do see here in the carrot that it, this is a very important analogy for you, all of my Sagittarius babies. So if you have like a field of carrots that you've been growing and you just have like the carrot top, you know, the green part and you like take it out of the earth and you just have like a rotten little like stubble at the other end of it, that should not stop you from harvesting all the other carrots that you planted, okay? All the other seeds that you put out there just because one was rotten and there will be some that aren't good. There will be some that didn't grow at all or that rotted after a while and that's okay because the majority is most likely going to have that juicy orange top at the bottom of the you know green of the carrot top of the carrot leaves and this is very important for you to remind yourself of in day-to-day -day life just because the first one that you pulled out or even the second or third one wasn't good that doesn't mean that everything that you've planted isn't worth harvesting keep that in mind every last opportunity is worth having a look at I can see here in the moon that there are big changes that are happening based on celestial events for you all of my Sagittarius babies so there are definitely some influential and important um, celestial events that are taking place that are influencing your sign in a way that you haven't felt before so you may have some outer body experiences that is one thing that I see in the three of swords that might scare you a little bit but might also make you like hungry for more I can see here in Horus in this cosmic gateway that during meditation or just during very quiet time you may feel a way that you've never felt before that feels very powerful and that feels very meaningful and I do want you to know here that your thoughts are steering a lot of this power so make sure that your thoughts are in a good place all of my Sagittarius babies because with so many miraculous changes occurring that's one thing that I see here in Horus if you're unable to focus on what you desire and you're focusing so much on what you don't want and pushing that away that's where your energy is going towards so be very mindful of where your energy is going and don't pay mind to the things that you don't want. I can see here in the Miriam that it's all about forgiving and healing for you during the month of March. So healing from traumatic relationships as well as seeing the light in everything and to remind yourself that love doesn't have any boundaries and if people are putting conditions on love, if people are saying that love does have boundaries to understand that that is most likely not the relationship for you. You. especially if you're talking to somebody who you're romantically interested in this could even be somebody who you've been with for a while or you've been seeing for a while and there are some sort of like geographical um, obstacles that you need to overcome or they have found a job in like another area or another country love has no boundaries and know that if they use that as an excuse to put the relationship on hold or to step away from you that this is most likely not the person for you because when love is real it conquers all next we have Kalima so I can see here in Kalima that these major changes that are unfolding for you might spark a little bit of fear but this is your chance to soar. This is your chance to get into the fast lane, to get into the fast lane of understanding more connections within our world and the universe and to understand yourself a lot better. So sometimes it can be really hard to think about what you've been through or to think about the difficulties that you're facing, difficult relationship dynamics. Write it down, journal it out. I just bought a journal yesterday that I thought to myself, I'm just going to like wreck this journal if I need to because I never want to write ugly thoughts in my beautiful journal so I just bought like a very basic journal and I'm like all the ugly thoughts that I have I'm gonna put them in there no matter whether they're like ugly gruesome no matter whether it's something that I feel like I shouldn't be thinking it all goes in there I'm all gonna let it out and see where it takes me and I want you to do the same all my beautiful Sagittarius babies especially during the month of March so all my beautiful Sagittarius babies this is the reading that I received for you I truly hope that you enjoyed it leave a little flame emoji down below in the comment section if you found this video helpful do know that i'm sending you so much love and i'll see you in another one of my readings hello all my beautiful little capricorn babies of the zodiac and welcome to your reading so let's get straight into it shall we i want to figure out what's coming towards you during the month of march so first and foremost we have the eight of coins so in the eight of coins i can see a lot of progress happening here in your career a lot of progress in the earthly realms when it comes to you receiving the material abundance that you desire so this is especially true if you're for example looking at buying a property i can see here that a lot of the paperwork is going to be 
able to go through more quickly and that you will be able to proceed with this type of deal. So I can see here in the Nine of Swords that you've been through a lot mentally. I can see here that you've been really stressed about things working out for you financially. So this could be, for example, in your job or building your own business. And I do see here in the Nine of Swords that there has been a lot of doubt that you've kept internally just like to yourself. There has been a lot that you've been through that has been hard for you to voice. But I do see here in the 10 of chalices that your relationships are in an amazing spot and that's where you were able to get a lot of confidence as well as support from. And I do see in the 10 of chalices furthermore that yes, while there are a lot of stressors and there is a lot of pressure on you performing in your career, there is also a lot of love around you. Next up in the five of swords one thing that i can see here is that you're moving into a place where you understand that you have maybe caused yourself more stress than a situation has really been worth as i can see in the eight of swords that you're kind of like lifting off this veil of feeling like stress is something that's normal stress is not normal this is something that society has created that we can often use like as a scapegoat for anything like oh why are you in a bad mood oh i'm stressed like that shouldn't be the norm that should be something that is acceptable if you're constantly stressed your body is constantly in fight or flight mode it is constantly constantly knocked out of homeostasis you have no equilibrium no center and that's this is something that causes disease especially when you're constantly stressed over a period of weeks months maybe even years so let's start normalizing not being stressed let's start normalizing sleeping eating healthy and just chilling just giving ourselves the self-love that we need as i can see here in the star you're really making a mark on your friends and the people around you all of my beautiful capricorns by realizing that stress is something that you you don't need in your life stress is something that you have the power to eliminate and that you're no longer going to allow to have the upper hand of your health as well as your time so i do see here in the star that March is just the beginning. You're going to come to so many more highs of being more chill, more relaxed, more grounded. But March is definitely like that tipping point where you're saying to yourself, I've stressed myself out because of my job, because of my accomplishments so much, and it literally hasn't changed anything. If anything, it's just made me more tired. It's just made me more lethargic. I'm not doing that anymore. So that is really like where you're going to flick the switch. Next up, we have the Ace of Swords. So in the Ace of Swords, I see a completely new beginning, a new chapter that is coming towards you mentally, all of my beautiful Capricorns. So as a Capricorn, you can sometimes be a little bit pessimistic. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you can sometimes see the obstacles before you see the gains before you see all the positives but I can see here that instead of being very skeptical your open-mindedness is allowing you to see things through a little bit more of a optimistic lens and I do want you to know here in the ace of swords that that's exactly what you need during the month of March all of my beautiful Capricorns now I do want you to know that often you being skeptical saves you a lot of time effort and money because you don't fall into little traps and you don't don't fall for F boys or F girls the way other people do, but sometimes it can also keep you from being happy. But luckily here in March, you are opening up at the exact right moment for you to have a more positive outlook on your life. I can see here in the chariot that you're going to be moving forward very quickly because you find this is comfortable. You're going to realize during March, like I feel good here. I feel good being happy. I feel good seeing things from a more positive mindset. I feel amazing just not even listening to people who are all about this toxic grind stuff and I just feel so much better just chilling getting my eight or nine hours of sleep and understanding that my health is worth so much more than showing up at work earliest or working the longest hours or doing the most projects I can see here in the cobweb that you're protected from negative forces that are beyond your control. So the cobweb is a very positive thing for you to see. So all of my beautiful Capricorns, if you see a lot of cobwebs during March, don't feel as though this is a coincidence or this is some sort of surprise. The cobweb showed up in your reading for a reason and this is definitely a sign of protection. So when you see those cobwebs, know that you're protected. Clean them up though, okay? This is no excuse for 
for just letting your house to be full of cobwebs. Next up, we have the rabbit. So in the rabbit, I can see a lot of concerns when it comes to your romantic life, when it comes to your intimacy. So maybe you're overthinking things there a little bit, or how should I say you're jumping into being intimate. Um, not because you necessarily want to, but maybe because you want to impress somebody or you want to please someone. So think about why you're really wanting to spruce up your intimate life and if you're truly ready or if it's just something that you feel like you should do. But I can definitely see that there's a lot of sensual tension here for you during March and that's not a bad thing. Just make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. So all of my beautiful Capricorn babies, this is the reading that I received for you. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Leave a little rabbit emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that this is your zodiac sign. Know that I'm thinking of you and sending you so much love and I'll see you in another one of my videos. Hello all my beautiful Aquarius babies and welcome to your March prediction. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So we can figure out what's coming towards you during the month of March. So first and foremost, we have the casket as well as the ladder. Okay, it seems like somebody is getting right out of that casket using the ladder. I want you to know here that a situation that seemed dead, that seemed like it was over, is going to be able to have kind of like a glow up again, okay? It's going to be revived. So this could be a romantic relationship that you thought would never work out, but somehow it still does. Somehow the person is trying to come back. So you may choose to let them up, but you may also choose to kind of like just destroy the ladder before they make it to you if you know that this person is toxic, all of my Aquarius babies. But I do want you to know here that this is a predominantly very positive thing because it means that you will be able to make the choice as to whether you allow them to come all the way up to the ladder or whether you skip on this opportunity and move on to the next. I can see here in the spear that there is some sort of heartache here. So what we spoke about, about it being a potential romantic partner trying to make it back into your life is most likely the case on my Aquarius babies because the heartache is coming from them. The heartache is coming from the person who was in the casket, the person who was dead to you, the person who you maybe did not want anything to do with anymore. And this is most likely for very good reason. So really think to yourself whether you want this ladder to be extended all the way to you or not okay but I can definitely see some regret here from ex-boyfriends ex-girlfriends just ex-partners people who could have been with you but they decided to just screw it up let's be real next up we have the page of chalices so in the page of chalices I can see that your soft spot in your heart is kind of warming a little bit I do know that as an Aquarius baby you're not the easiest to get to an emotional place but I do see here that when you see somebody trying really hard that does activate your heart chakra and it kind of makes you feel like oh maybe I should give this person an extra chance all I got to say to this all of my Aquarius babies is remind yourself of the reason why you did not want this person in your life so closely in the first place next we have the seven of chalices in the Seven of Chalices, I see that there are a lot of options here for you. I see that whether it's romantically or whether it's with friends, don't feel as though just because something didn't work out or just because there's one opportunity to make a new friend or a new romantic partner, don't feel like you have to take that and that there will be no new partner. You have to take this person who's coming back into your life or trying to come back in your life because there's nobody else. That is not true. I can see here in the Seven of Chalices that you have plenty of opportunities, but you have to allow yourself to be open to them because when you focus on just one opportunity or an opportunity that was here in the past, then of course you won't be able to see anything else. I can see here in the Eight of Swords that exactly this veil is in front of you. And I do see here that that's causing a little bit of anxiety, especially during March, because you're afraid about whether nobody better will come along or whether you might I end up on your own because you have your own things that you're dealing with and you don't want to burden friends, family members, potential lovers with the things that you're going through and you're battling with. But I do want you to know here that these fears are of course valid, but at the same time, don't let them ruin your emotional happiness. I can see here in the queen of coins that focusing on your career is a place where you can really flourish and where your love can find an amazing foothold. Yes, I said focusing on your career is going to allow your love to find an amazing foothold because sometimes pouring our energy, our love, and also good intent into a business, we don't realize this because 
we kind of like think about the direct influence very often. And if you're not a nurse or a doctor or somebody who works in the health field, then if you're doing something like selling products, for example, or cleaning, it may not be so clear to you what positive impact that you have, such as, you know, somebody who works in the health field. To, to someone who works in helping people directly, it's very clear to you how you're doing positive. But with everybody else, it can be hard to see how you're impacting the world in a positive positive way, but even if you're packaging packages or preparing drinks somewhere for people, for strangers, know that when you put love into it, it truly does change someone's day. It truly does make somebody else feel special and you're doing an amazing service to this world. So pour your love into your work and into your career because it does make an impact. It does make a difference. Next we have the nine of crystals reversed. So in the nine of crystals reversed, I can see here that taking a bit of a time out is something that you've done, but now you have to cross the finish line. All my Aquarius babies, stop procrastinating these tasks that you know you need to do. Stop shying away from the phone. Nobody likes to talk to strangers on the phone, okay? Calling you out, all my Aquarius babies. Just do it. Just get over it. You will feel so much lighter and better once you get those tasks done. I can see here in the Four of Swords that rest is something that you will be able to take as soon as you've overcome all of these things that you've been procrastinating or didn't want to do. As I can see here in the Six of Crystals, that success is really guaranteed as soon as you've gotten through all of these things that kind of scare you or make you feel uneasy. So the best thing for you to do really is to be a little bit tough on yourself, all my Aquarius babies during March, and to tell yourself that you're going to follow this list, follow this plan that you've made for yourself relentlessly. You're not even going to think about it. That's one thing that I do right when I wake up. I'm like, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm going to go straight to my practice without second guessing because that only leaves for opportunity for you to say I'll do it later and then that later turning into never. So hold yourself accountable as I can see here in the six of crystals that that will bring great success and that will allow you to feel triumphant over any kind of trials or tribulations and make you feel like you are in control of your life. So all of my beautiful Aquarius babies, this is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful leave a little apple emoji down below in the comment section if you made it to the end of your reading to let me and others know and I'll catch you in another one of my videos. Hello all of my beautiful Pisces babies of the world and welcome to your March prediction. So I'm gonna get straight into it. All you need to do is lean back, relax, and enjoy. So first we have the page of crystals reversed. So all of my beautiful Pisces babies, I see that you can move up now in your ladder of success, okay? I can see that you can move to the next level when it comes to your career and when it comes to your earthly success. So think promotion, think allowing yourself to be a leader rather than doubting your abilities. Next, we have the full reverse. So I do see here in the full reverse that it's kind of like something that you're afraid of moving forward because you don't wanna mess it up, but at the same time, you have to. It's inevitably right here for you. This next adventure, this next opportunity, don't allow fear to get in the way of what you know that you really should be doing. I can see here in the justice card that it's all about that balance, okay? So if you've taken a enough time out waiting to embark on your next adventure. If you feel like you've taken enough time to kind of just like find your ground, find your center, now you need to move forward. You cannot allow any more time to pass by during the month of March. So if you have the opportunity to take on more responsibility, if you have the opportunity to create more of the abundance that you want, do it, okay? And don't feel as though you have to wait for a sign or you have to wait for somebody to give you permission. All of my Pisces babies, give yourself permission to thrive. I can see here in the bear that it is dangerous for you to stay complacent in money matters, especially all my Pisces babies. So do know here that being complacent or for example, just you know saving all of the money that you have left over at the end of the month and feeling like, okay, eventually you'll be able to get something. Of 
course, that is one strategy that you can use, but at the same time, I can see here in the bear that that is too slow, that is too complacent. You're meant to go out there and really create something that has more longevity and that brings more returns. I can see here in the teardrops that there might be some personal sorrow if you fail to move forward. There might be some difficulties if you continue holding yourself back because then you start to blame yourself. Then you start to think to yourself, why did I, didn't I handle things differently? differently. Why didn't I do things like that? So I do see in the justice card that you have to be fair to yourself and being fair to yourself is also allowing yourself to thrive, to move forward, to not hold yourself back. I can see here in the wall that a misunderstanding is becoming very clear. A misunderstanding that you had of who you are and what your capabilities were. As I can see here in the wind chimes that this is going to create peace and harmony, all of my Pisces babies. So so first there is difficulty for you in March. First there is like this anxiousness, this not wanting to move forward, almost like you're self-sabotaging really, but then understanding why you even did that. Then understanding that you have the right to empower yourself to get to that next level, especially financially speaking, and that will create amazing peace and harmony for you where you're not so afraid anymore to be the leader. You're not so afraid anymore to be the one on the receiving end because for all of my Pisces babies, you're naturally a little bit more of a sign that is often led by other signs that are very overpowering. So for you to switch those roles, it's hard, but it is an amazing feeling once you get on top of your game and once you understand your capabilities. I can see here in the seven of coins that there are a lot of different people who are just here to support you. And I can see that you don't have to feel as though these people people are just humans, okay? This could be animal spirits that you feel are supporting you. This could be pets that you feel really got your back and it's okay, you don't have to have a strong connection with a human during the month of March that you feel supports you. It's also okay for you to find support in spirit animals and other types of guides. I can see here in the Knight of Chalices that the people who are already in your life and support you, you know that they're there. You know that you can rely on them and that is why it is also interesting for you to be exploring other areas of support that you can get always. For example, always being able to tap into your spirit animal, always being able to have your dog or your cat that's right there and accessible to give you support. Whereas with other people, you may call them and they may be busy or they may have their own things going on. So exploring other ways of supporting yourself emotionally is something that is much needed and will help you in the long run. Next, I can see here in the Eight of Swords that decision-making is something that is going to be a little bit difficult. So you're going to land on lots of different options and it may be hard for you to decide what to go with, especially when you've lifted yourself out of potential danger, financial danger that we spoke about here in the bear. And now you have so many different options as to how you can successfully move forward. So just go with what feels really good. Go with what feels right and understand that for you, all of my Pisces baby is really the biggest obstacle in March is to not remain complacent and to empower yourself to move forward and you've already done that after the beginning stages of March. I can see here in Lady Nada that you are awakening to accept love as well as divine guidance. I can see here that Giving and receiving imbalance is something that you're finally seeing from a different standpoint because you're most likely usually the giver, my Pisces baby. You are most likely usually the one who people take from and they don't know when to stop. So you end up feeling drained. You end up feeling sometimes down and manipulated and like you shouldn't have given people the upper hand. So I do see here in hope that there is so much love and acceptance that you can tap into during the month of March and you're finally making use of it, all of my Pisces babies. I can see here that you're recognizing your divine worth, you're recognizing how strong that you can be and that you take money matters into your own hands and you don't have to wait for somebody to give you permission to be financially free or abundant. You don't have to wait for somebody to give you a promotion or you don't need to save money every month for 
decades until you can purchase something that you really want, you can just create more abundance for yourself and you don't have to ask for permission. This is something that you can do by, you know, starting your own store, starting a blog, offering a service that you're really good at to people and just starting to gain traction that way and starting to move away from feeling like the victim or feeling like you're always the one who is waiting and everybody else is on the receiving end and you're just the giver, you know? I can definitely see you turning that into a personal choice and that making you feel really empowered and reminding you of the fact that life isn't just happening to you, life is truly happening for you. So all of my beautiful Pisces babies, this is the reading that I received for you. I truly hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. I really hope that you liked my honest approach. Leave a little four leaf clover down below in the comment section to let me and others know that this is your zodiac sign and the group that you chose. Know that I'm sending you so much love and I'll catch you in another one of my videos.